Hi everybody and welcome to our embroidery school, episode one. We are super excited about doing this. Embroidery, as you probably know, is becoming more and more trendy. It's being used by a lot of the high fashion houses like Dior and Gucci. So uh, really, this is something that everybody should be doing right now, uh, getting all their garments embellished with great embroidery. And we will show you a few of the basic stitches. Yes. And then you can play with those on your garments or whatever. Exactly. Yes. So, uh, there's a lot of different embroidery techniques, uh, as you already probably have seen. We've done a few episodes with cross stitch, where you follow a chart, you use a canvas with, with squares or circles and holes, and you embroider what you see in using crosses. Uh, now we want to talk about some freehand stitches that are really, really fantastic that you can use and you don't even need to have a pattern. You can just go away go and, and or take it away and take do away. whatever you want. <laughs> uh, the first one we want to start with today is the split stitch, which Arne is going to be showing you and I'll be telling you a little bit about it. Yes. So, can you explain yeah. the split stitch, Arne, it's a very, bit? I think it's very nice when you do like outlines for leaves or other stuff. What you do is you, you you make the first stitch and then you bring your the needle through the yarn. It comes up like in the yarn, and it and this way you make like a almost like a pencil line. So basically, what you're this doing is, is the split stitch. You're basically splitting the stitch split in the, the sense stitch. that when you go up with your yarn, you go through the first stitch so and. The nice thing about this stitch is that you create a lot of texture as well because yeah. you're going into the stitch, you're splitting it, and you're creating a little bit of a 3D, a 3D effect. Yeah. effect. It's a really good stitch to outline an embroidery, yeah. but it can also be used to fill an embroidery. So you could actually do them side by side, yeah. and that way you could just fill up a hole. For example, if you want to do a green leaf, you could do it entirely using this stitch. So you see, it's coming. It looks like a chain stitch, but it's not. It's a split no, stitch. it's a split stitch. A split stitch. So this is the first, the first of five stitch. stitches that we're going to be talking about. So tune in next week and we will have another tutorial with a new stitch for you to learn. Let's see what that, this will be. Yeah, and in the meantime, we are just gonna sit here and uh, I'm actually gonna get some embroidery on myself and I'm gonna start embroidering together with Arna some split stitches. Split stitch. and make some leaves. And make some leaves for some fabulous design. Yeah. So please don't forget to subscribe <laughs> uh, to our channel and see you next see week. See you next time. Bye.